During an interview, Miss Watts mentioned a few things that you may not have expected to find at Ball State. Tunnel Exploration Apparently, Ball State has underground utility tunnels. Some students explore these tunnels as a means to entertain themselves. Though Karen wouldn't admit whether she actually explored them or not, their existence and idea of using them for a sort of adventure was not something she expected. No hazing. Every sorority or fraternity has its secrets. That's kind of the whole point of making exclusive meetings and secret handshakes. However, Ball State has taken a serious stance when it comes to hazing. They respect the right for organizations to have traditions and secrets, but they draw the line at anything that might make members feel humiliated or unsafe. Ball State encourages students to bring any type of hazing to the attention of Ball State authorities so that the matter can be dealt with directly. Variety of dining options. Most universities have a few dining options available, but the atrium at Ball State University takes it to a whole new level. Instead of offering one option for students, the atrium is better than a food court at the nearest mall. Students enjoy a variety of typical college-style food without ever having to leave the campus. They can order a Papa John's delivery or enjoy real Mexican food at an outdoor table and just about anything else they crave in between. Certification in Public Relations While Karen was attending Ball State, she, like many other students, thought about changing her major more than once. While she was doing her research concerning her degree options, she ran across an interesting fact. Ball State University is the one and only institution in the United States that offers a certification in education for public relations, certified by the Public Relations Society of America. Supportive Staff Karen started Ball State expecting to be treated as if she were just another number. The experience of public education in a large high school with overworked and underpaid staff no doubt contributed to that idea. But Ball State set a different precedent. Karen found that the staff at Ball State to be supportive and encouraging, and while they didn't always remember her name, they did remember that college students are struggling with more than just academic achievements. So for more tips and tricks on colleges and universities, check out our website.